So that leaves you 41. Home and try, boys, home and try. Come on, Steve, you can do it. Take your time, OK? Double 19, and the match is ours. Go on, Mr Craig. Shh. Close fight, but we won. Fair and square. Hey, come on, Gina, get the sandwiches. I'll get the beer. Yes. Well, yeah. Just you know why. for Danny, eh? his publicity. I'll have to tell the pest control officer. Look, if you tell the council, they'll close you down as soon as look at you. Just don't say a word to anyone. Just leave it all to me. Daddy's just going to buy us a nice pie for our dinner. It won't be a minute. You stay here and look after Dolly, eh? How's it going back there? Oh, nightmare. I'll tell you what, I'm not going in that kitchen till Vernon's caught it. Now, don't blame you. Giraffe. See ya. Two minutes. Angel! 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 Phil! Phil, there's a child gone missing. This gentleman here. It's my daughter. She was in the car. I, I said I'd only be a minute. When I got back, she just. How old is she, sir? Her six, her blonde hair, red coat, carrying a doll. How long ago did you leave her? Uh, five minutes, I'm only in the pie shop. Right, well, she can't have got far in five minutes. Look, uh, why don't you look up that side of the street, sir, and I'll have a look down here. Jenny, can you wait here by the cat? Yeah. Sir, what's she called? Angel. Angel. Yeah, they go in there, and then the door slams shut, and Bob's your uncle. And you catch him live? Yeah, and I don't want to see them, Vernon, alive or dead. You won't. David will dispose of them elsewhere, won't you, David? David! OK, where have you looked? Well, as far as the bus station, Mr Jarvis went right up to the railway bridge. The shops are and back everywhere. Mr. Jarvis only left her for a couple of minutes. I'm, I'm left sure her. she left her where? In the car, only while I. Oh, you fool! You idiot! Marie Jarvis, Sarge, uh, child's mother. Mr. Jarvis, I know this is very upsetting, but try not to panic. I'm sure your daughter is quite safe. She probably just tried to follow her dad and got a bit lost. She's only six. 
to understand, Bellamy. You collected it from home, did you? Uh, yes, sir. It's 12 Bridge Street. Searched everywhere. Cellars, loft, cupboards. Yes, sir. Only missing kids often find their own way home and then hide, thinking they'll be in trouble. I know that, Sarge, but uh, no, sir. I gather Mr. and Mrs. Jarvis are separated, are they? Yes, Sarge. Anyone else on the scene? Well, she has got a new boyfriend. He works up at the cell. That's what you want me to go and collect him? Not yet. Most likely thing is she just got out of the car and wandered away. Well, unless someone's taken her. Let's not go down that route just yet. What we need now is a systematic search. I'll radio Whippy and get some more men. Hey, Mr. Jarvis. You'd like to come with me. Sergeant Murray would like a Where's Mrs. Jarvis? Okay, you carry on, I'll go down the next shop. The arrow points to the spot on Market Street where the child went missing. And the circle represents the boundary of how far we think she would have got if she was on foot. Ah. Sarge. This is a child here, lads. Take a good look. Thank you, Ventress. The uh, Gazette are running it in this evening's edition, and I've radioed to all stations their description. Excellent. All right, men. Section off the map into search areas. Two men to each area. Let's get cracking. There you go. Any news? Not yet, I'm afraid. We've checked with your mother and she's not there. She's not with this list of school chums either. And you say you've no friends or relations in Ashfordley at all? Not since my marriage broke up. We've checked his dick, Sarge. She couldn't be there. Because thanks to her, this is the first time I've been allowed to take her out, isn't it? Look what's happened now. You've got your way. You lost her! Uh, Jenny for you, Sarge. In the duty room. Excuse me. Well, she in there? What? Just a minute, sir. Dennis, it's 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 Sam Turner Marie's boyfriend. She asked me to fetch him. Oh, this is about my daughter. He's everything to do with it. He loves her. Get out! Come on. Come on. Enough! Put him in the interview room. Take a seat, please, will you? Ashfordley Police Station. What did you do that for? She was desperate. So you took it upon yourself to fetch him without asking me? Yes. Did it never cross your mind that bringing him here with Jarvis might not be such a good idea? I knew about him. I was going to bring him in at a moment of my own choosing. I'm sorry. I wanted to help. Sarge. In the future, please don't. That was the underwater search unit. They're doing the lakes and the ponds this afternoon if we don't find her. Right. Quite frankly, I don't think we're going to find her. Not there. You don't think? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure if she just wandered off, we'd have found her by now. I've got a nasty feeling about this one, Ventress. Mr. Ventress will take you home, then, okay? But I should be out looking. 
You need to be at home for your daughter, Mrs. Jarvis. The first thing she'll want to see when we find her is her mum. Exactly. She's meant to be a bit upset. I can't believe this is happening. How long is it since you and your husband separated, by the way? A year. And this is the first time he's taken her out? It seems like a long time. <laughs> it's not long enough. I didn't want him to see her at all. He's a very bitter man, Sergeant Merton. You know he took me to court. Solicitors, the lot. And now he's got his precious access. Look what's happened. The very first time he has her. I'll never forgive him. Never. Sergeant, I've got to find her. We're all trying to do that, sir, which is why I need as much information as you can give us. I'm sorry. I need to be out looking. Mr. Jarvis. Please. We've established that you've no relations in Ashfordly. What about elsewhere? She doesn't know my relatives. Not even a grandparent? Look, she hasn't seen me for a whole year, let alone my family. So there's no one, a friend or a relation, who might have seen her in the car and taken her off with him? You don't think someone's taken her, do you? It's a possibility, that's all. Get your paper here. Get your gazette here. Get your paper here. So you work at the Ashfordley Sawmill, and for the past year you've lived at 12 Bridge Street with Mrs. Jarvis. And, of course, young Angel. You get on, do you? You and Angel? Yeah. Only sometimes these things can be difficult. The only difficult thing's been him. Keith. Ah. Ah, he's pretty resentful, I imagine. You taking his place in a family home. Must be hard for him to accept. I try not to get involved. Mr. Turner, have you any idea where Angel is? No. Anything? No. Wait till the morning. Trust me, you'll see. I'm an expert on vermin control. Well, I hope you are, Vernon. Oh, any news on Jen? No, nothing. She's spending the night with her mother, apparently. She's really got herself involved, hasn't she? Well, everyone has. They've cancelled police leave, and they've had to draft in men from Whitby and Pickering. Mm. Well, those poor parents must be going through. It's terrible. Hmm. Any chance of a pint and an orange juice, please, Gina? Oh, and steak and chips twice, please. Sorry, you'll have to ask Oscar. Oscar? Oh, aye. She's boycotting the kitchen. Because of the rats. Shut up, baby. Liz, it's Jenny for you. She's at Marie Jarvis's house. Sounds like she's in a bit of a flap. Come and sit down, Marie. Look, everyone's out there. The police, Sam and his friends, Keith, they'll find her. Yeah. But I just keep thinking about the railway line and the river and everything. Don't torture yourself. Look, why don't I put the kettle on? Yeah? Hello? Any news? I'm afraid not. Why is she here? I just came by to see if there was anything at I all I could do. I said not to call her. Listen, Marie, sometimes a, a mild sedative I can help. I don't want pills. I'm sorry, Dr Merrick. If you've got no news about Angel, can you just go, please? Mr. 
nothing. No, sir. Look, it's nearly midnight. I need to go home and try and get some rest. There we are, you see. One, two, three. All right, David, take him away. So that's it, is it? Yes, there won't be any more. They're pack animals. Once one goes in the cage, the rest all follow. And we won't need it back tonight, then? No, job done. Right, uh, well, do I owe you anything? Uh, oh, good Lord, no. The very idea. <laughs> Hang on. I know you like your whiskey. Oscar, this was done as a friend. Yeah, with my thanks. Well, if you insist. <laughs> Gina, you can resume your kitchen duties now. Oh, really? Well, thanks, Vernon. It's very kind of you. Morning, Sarge. Quite a few calls overnight. One that I thought might be interesting. Ah, Sarge, here's one from our Mrs Wilson, who thinks she saw a child being led away from Market Street at around 10 o'clock yesterday morning. Well, court too. Woodside Avenue. I'll go and see her now. Here we go. Child shoe phone by the road. Cole didn't give his name, but he told us where to look. All right, why don't you follow that one up, and I'll go and speak to Mrs Wilson. Sarge, Mr Jarvis wants to know if there's anything you can do to help. I, um, I can't do nothing. All right, Crane, why don't you take him with you and Bellamy too? At least Mr Jarvis might be able to identify that shoe, if it exists. What shoe? David! What did you leave him in there for? I thought you were going to dispose of them. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm, I'm just going to do this first. Sunshine, I do not want rats in the funeral parlour. Get rid of them now. I didn't even know about the missing child, not till I saw the picture in the Gazette. But you think this is definitely her? Yes. So you were returning home from shopping? Yes, and I cut through behind Market Street and that's when I saw her. Long blonde hair, just like in the paper, red coat, holding hands with a young woman. And this woman, can you describe her? Youngish, blondish. I was looking at the child mainly being such a pretty little thing. I was thinking she looked a little bit like our Irene. And did you see which way they went? I can't remember. I only glanced at them. How did the child seem to you? Was she happy or upset or...? Happy as anything, chatting away. I just assumed they were mother and daughter. Oh, no. Don't touch her. Just say if it could be hers. What's it doing here? Eh? I get it. Phil? <laughs> Mr Jarvis, I wouldn't, sir. It can be treacherous. That way's a pea bog. Steve? You see what I see? Sawdust. You don't think it's a boyfriend, do
sawdust. Forensics think they might be able to tell whether it came from Ashley Sawmills. All right. Let's bring in Sam Turner. Sarge. Hi, right, Sarge. And also the mother. The mother, Sarge? Our only witness saw the child being led away by a youngish, fair-haired woman whom the child obviously knew. Who does that suggest to you? Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why would she abduct her own child? And the shoes and the doll? I don't think anything at the moment. Just let's talk to them and we'll see where we get. I don't like this. Me neither. I mean, it's a pretty big leap, isn't it? You saw the state she was in. Come on. Let's get it over with. I'll tell you what, if she's anything to do with this, she's an absolutely brilliant actress. I've just persuaded her to lie down for a bit. Any news? What? Sarge wants us to bring Marie and Sam in for questioning. What? Who wants to know? I'll come about your ass. Is my own husband. Jenny, calm down. There must be a reason. Nobody can tell me they've got anything to do with this. Nobody, not even Dennis. Look, we don't have the facts, do we? Now, presumably, Dennis found out something pretty serious. What about Marie or Sam? Okay, statistically, nine times out of ten, when a child disappears, someone. In I don't the care about statistics, Liz. I'm sorry. You've got to manage without me today. I need to be with Marie. Jenny, you're becoming too involved. What's going on? Someone reported our rats to the council. Who? I reckon it was that bloke that lost at darts. The one who accused us of cheating? Apparently Vernon and I are planning to feed rat droppings to the general public. Oh, the sneaky so-and-so. Excuse me, mister. You won't find anything down there. We've caught them all. You are? I'm Gina Ward, licensee. Well, madam, I'm sorry to say these premises are a public health risk. I'm afraid I've no alternative but to close this kitchen down. What? Look here, I gave my details to the police in confidence. I do hope you're not from the newspapers. No. I'm Sergeant Merson's wife. Look, I've been helping to look after the missing girl's mother. I see. And she's just in a terrible state. If you saw her, you'd want to help. I know you would, and I just I'm saw... sorry, I've already told the police everything I know. But you're the last person to have seen her since she disappeared, Mrs Wilson. Absolutely the last person. Please, just let me take you through it once more. The day Angel vanished, you started work at the sawmills at 7.30 a.m. Ah. At 10 a.m. you took a break and went off site. Ah. Why? To get some breakfast. Look, why are we wasting time on stupid questions? Because, Mr. Turner, we found her shoes and a doll. And guess what? They're covered in sawdust. Sawdust from the Ashfordley sawmill. What? Sad. Jenny's here again. What? 
and she says she's got some information for you. For heaven's sake, Ventress, I'm at a critical stage here. Whatever it is, she can tell you. Yes. Ah, uh, Jenny. Um, he's in the middle of an interview, and he said um, if you could tell me what the information is, then I can pass it on later. In other words, he won't see me. Uh, well. Thanks. Jenny. Oh, dear. <laughs> Mr. Scripps? Yes, David. W will you do it? What? Get rid of the rats. No. Oh. But it's hard on that to do it. Well, neither do I. Bernie! Oh, for goodness sake, just do what the old rat catchers used to do. Stick the cage in the water, but. I need your help and it's very urgent. I'm looking for the owner of a green van. I'm sorry. Look, it's about the missing girl. I've been to see a witness and she now thinks she remembers her getting into a green van. Jenny, this is some for your husband, not for me. Yes, I know, but he's so busy, Bernie. I mean, you see cars and vans all the time. I just thought... I feel green vans all over the shop. I need to know the make. Oh, I don't know the make. Oh, just think, Bernie. Look, I've asked at every garage. You are my last chance. There was a dog in the back, if that helps. A white dog. Oh, was that nasty dog that bit me by the pumps last week? I mean, that was white in a van. Was it green? No, it was white. It was a terrier. The van. Well, that was Harry Dixon, wasn't it? That's right, yeah, it was uh, Mr Dixon. It wasn't a van, it was a, it was a traveller. But it, but it was green, yeah, it was a, a green Morris traveller. Look, there's more droppings at the back here. And they're fresh ones. Well, don't look at me, Oscar. I got rid of three of them for Well, you said the job was done. So much for you being a vermin expert. Well, if you're going to be unpleasant. Oscar! Oh, I'm sorry, Vernon. I need a private word. Do you mind? Oh, not at all. Glad to be out of it. It's about the little girl. I found an address where she might be, and I thought, as you and I have two private eye work, you could help me check it out. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Jenny. Your husband's dealing with it. But he's getting it all wrong. He's arrested the mother, and we are wasting vital well, I'm time. I'm sorry. Is that why you went to the station and saw Sergeant Merton there? Yes, but I found out a whole lot more since then. She's been kidnapped, Alf. A witness that actually saw her being put into the back of a Morris Minor traveller and David and Bernie knows whose it is. Well, tell your other half. I have! Look, I spoke to him over the phone and he's asked me to check it out. Check it out? The address that David gave me. But it's way out on the moors. It would be foolish of me to go on my own, so... Oh, please, do this one thing for me. Well, uh, let me see where it is. I still don't know why you said yes to her. Because she wouldn't take no for an answer, that's why. Well, I'm doing nothing, I'm just looking. The rest is up to Merton. Why? Lord knows what he's up to. Telling his wife to take a statement from a witness the mind boggles. I don't believe he did. I think she was lying. Yeah, well, I do worry about her sometimes. Very highly strung, I'd say. It is now. There's no sign of a green traveller. Move forward a bit. You pretended that Dennis told you to. Yes, all right, but it was a white lie. What are you looking at me like that for? You can't take the law into your own hands, Jenny, especially not with something as serious as this. I had to! Dennis wouldn't even see me! Ring him. What? Ring him and tell him what you've done, otherwise I will. See you. Hey, 
this year. Uh, no, thanks. Do yourself. You rid of those rats? Yeah. What's all this then? Yeah, no, sorry about that. I was uh, I was famished. Put old packet in here this morning. Hmm. There it is. Parked on the right. And a white dog. Right. Let's go and tell Merton. Hold on. There. Upstairs. That large window on the right. Up the road. A little more, what we've done. It's the Jarvis. Hey! Stop! Be all right, Oscar. Yeah, give us a A green traveller, Mr. Jarvis and his daughter. Catch us up. Jarvis and the child, what's he talking about? Look through any window, yeah. What do you see? Smiling faces all around. A rush the busy His heart. I'll get an ambulance. No, I'll do that. You get after Jarvis. I'll be as quick as I can. Let's just get you covered. Right. There you go. You're going to be all right. You'll be as right as rain. Phil's got to get an ambulance. Yeah, I think it might be a heart attack. He's in a bad way anyway, so step on it.
Come on. Keep going. Don't give up. Petersville can't do without you. Sergeant! Sergeant Winston! Mr. Jarvis! You can't get any further. Now come on. Off the bridge. Mr. Jarvis! Please. There's no need for your daughter to be involved. Why don't you under to me? And we can talk. Would you like me to fetch someone? What about a friend? What about the woman that took Angel? Who is she, by the way? Girlfriend? No? OK. So, you had her all along, eh? At the farm? But you certainly had us fooled. What I can't understand is why, Keith. You wanted Angel for yourself. And the only way to keep her was to hide her and make it look as if she died. That way we'd stop looking for her. I mean, you must have planted her shoes and the doll. And by putting sawdust on her things, you knew that Sam would get the blame. Am I on the right lines, Keith? No, I can't be. No one would let a mother think her child was dead. Not unless you'd plan to tell her later. When you got somewhere safe... She's my sister. She's done nothing wrong. I want everyone to know that. Well, the, the woman who took Angel? I told her a pack of lies. She's not to blame. OK. Well, that's something we can talk about later. Taking Angel to Spain. Anna. OK, well, that's something else we can talk about later. Oh, no, now. I'm taking her now. Fine. Got the tickets and everything. Where are the other two? The two other men coming up the hill. They've gone. Are you sure? Yeah. One was taken ill and, and the others had to take him off. So there's no one else down there? No. Now come on, Keith. Hand me Angel. Stand back then. If you want to save her, stand back. And let us go. Go on, further. You didn't find me. You, you spent a couple of hours searching, but you didn't even see me. Ambulance men are on the way. Where's Jarvis? He went that way. Okay, let's get him onto the stretcher. Gently. Child. Where's the child? Angel! 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 Serge! 
Hold on, Steve. We're gonna get you out of there. You got a rope? Yeah. Right, come on, follow me. Come on, Ariel, bring the rope. Just a few minutes. I'm slipping! I need some help! Won't be long now, Steve. Where is it? It's on his way, Sarge. Steve, we're getting a rope for you, mate. You all right? Take him back to the cells. I'll deal with him later. Hold on, lad. You're doing fine. I'll take Marie and Angel home now. There's no such thing. What? Don't you ever interfere with my luck again. I found Angel, didn't I? Policing is about doing things safely, Jenny. Minimising danger. Instead of which, thanks to you, we almost lost the child over the edge. And Steve Crane's life is in serious danger. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> Let's get down there. All right, Steve, I'm coming over. <laughs> Give me your hand, Steve. You're going to have to give me your hand. Come on. You can do it, Steve. Come on. Come on. Come on, Steve. Look, Steve. Look at me. We can do this. We can do it. Come on. Put your hand across your arm. We can do it. This time. This time, right? Look at me. This time. Come on. This time. Ready? Come on. Come on, Steve. Come on. Come on. I've got you. Come on. I've got you. She's a doctor. She's probably been called out or something. Here we are, Gina. If Oscar's not satisfied, I don't want it. Where is everybody? That's just what we were wondering, Miss Vernon. What did you say you'd done with those rats? I couldn't do it, Mr Scripps. I'm sorry. So what did you do with them? I'll let them go. Oh. Well, I, I gave them something to eat before they went. They'll be OK. Oh, they are, Sunshine. They are. They're in the office playing hide-and-seek in my slippers. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> hey, Phil. Phil? What's happened? Where's Oscar? Something happened to him. He's in hospital. He's had a heart attack. What? But is he going to be OK? I don't know, Gina. He's very poorly. Where's Steve? Has he gone with him? What? Sorry. What's happened, Phil? It's been an accident. I tried. I really tried. But I just, just couldn't hold on to it. Steve. He's not. 